Okay. So okay. just introduce yourself. Okay, Nastoko Abbey Kwekumadake. My name is Terry Lynn Fox. So you're the director of the Kanai Wellness Center? I am. So just tell us a bit about what's happening here today. You're walking in solidarity for a little while with the group um, heading out to Ottawa. Yes. So tell yes. us a bit about this event. It is. So uh, we heard about it last week and uh, one of our workers brought it to our attention um, Monday morning and so we mobilized a quick meeting and we organized our um, uh, solidarity for today to walk with um, Adam and Leo and Stan um, on their quest to Ottawa to create awareness for MMIWG and IRS. Mm -hmm. And so um, what has your, uh, I guess, little uh, discussions been with the group so far? Um, it's, it's been heartfelt. Um, we're talking about um, historical and intergenerational traumas but we're also part of the movement of um, systemic reconciliation and healing amongst all Canadians. Mm -hmm. So what uh, do you hope and wish for this group here? Well, I wish them good health along their journey. I, I wish that um, Canadians and um, along the towns and cities that they will provide their generosity and, and take care of them along the way. We also want to um, keep track of their whereabouts as we may send a delegation to meet them in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. And so what, uh, what, uh, who's uh, all participating in this walk today? So we have um, Stan, Adam and Leo. We also have uh, members from the Blood Tribe. We have some um, Blood Tribe Department of Health workers. We also saw CBC reporter as well as Bassano Mayor here. And we saw many passers by stopping to, to see what was happening. And, and we hope that this does get to local um, news um, papers and radio stations that the, the momentum is moving forward in reconciliation. And what about uh, the Kaina Wellness Center? They're also planning an event on July 1st. Tell us a bit about that. Yes, so our May 5th um, event was postponed and so we are going to continue that on July 1st to show our solidarity, to show our, um, our movement towards healing for uh, blood tribe families who are directly affected by a missing and murdered loved one. So that'll happen um, again utilizing prayer and ceremony as our foundation to to create awareness to help families move forward on their healing as well as for our community healing and well-being so uh describe for me the event i understand it's gonna be a fire a walk so we're hoping that we 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 have our banners and we have our flags and we're gonna come at from four directions and meet at a central location and stand off at Red Crow Park. We will have a sacred fire burning all day with prayer and ceremony. And we will also have um, the tributes that family members have made to their families to showcase and, and celebrate the memory of their loved one, as well as um, provide awareness and, and healing and further connection to our blood tribe family. Any last comments on this walk today? show of solidarity and support. I'm, I'm just feeling so good. The energy is amazing. Um, everyone coming together, providing that support. Um, I'm glad we're part of the movement moving forward. And, you know, I just want to say, you know, onward we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Facebook. <laughs> Trying to get that.